Hello, I'm Phil Ernest, and this is Mount Islip. To find the trailhead from Azusa, drive 25 miles up Highway 39. This is what the parking lot looks like. You will need an adventure pass to park here. I will include the details in the description below. I have also included the GPS coordinates in the description so you can find this parking lot easier. And Windy Gap Trail is you are here and the Windy Gap Trail goes all the way up this way, across and up here. Our final destination was Ipslip Mountain all the way over here. Here's the trail. So today we're doing the uh, Wind Gap, two and a half, 2.5 miles up. And there it is. And let's let the hike begin, starting this way, right across from the parking lot. Starting at 7.42, the hike begins. So five minutes into this hike, and this is what it looks like going up. Just a lot of shade, forest area. Okay, so after this is where we just came up, we just traveled 0.4 miles from where we started, come across this little asphalt here, and then continue on up this trail. This is 10 minutes after we started, and again, we're going to Windy Gap right there, 2.1 miles. Okay, so 20 minutes into this hike, as you can see, it's uh, pretty much still the same. A lot of shade, well um, defined trail. And take a look back at where we're at and continue on. Okay, less than 30 minutes into the hike, we come to this trail. Continue on straight up. Windy, windy gap trail. Take a look around. Check this nice scenery out. Pretty cool. All so right. we're going to Windy Gap, 1.4 miles to go. From there, we'll go to Mount Islip. And we've done 1.1 miles at this point already. Okay, so you're gonna see these two signs. Just pay attention to this one. We're going to Wind Gap Trail. So 40 minutes into the trail, this hike has some switchbacks, as you can see. People coming up from the back, switching. And continue on up with the trail. We should be coming up upon a little overlook pretty soon here. And here's the look over at where we're at, where we've been, and where we're going. Okay, I'm now 50 minutes, five zero minutes into the hike. Check this out, nice scenery down below. And this is absolutely gorgeous hike in the San Gabriel Mountains. These rocks here are a little bit of a challenge to just make sure you don't fall over them. Careful watching the trail. Okay, so one hour into this trail and take a look at that. Again, sun coming up, absolutely gorgeous. And we're, um, should be getting very close to Windy Gap as we're gonna do a little switch back right here. Okay, so one hour and five minutes it took me um, to get to Windy Gap. And this is it right here. So this is pretty cool. Nice little overlook. And we're gonna continue on on the Islip Trail, which is right here, which is only 0.8 miles. So that's pretty cool. Only 0.8 miles to um, our final destination and so take a look at where we're at and take in the fact we just hiked all of that down there okay so I'm back on this trail after Windy Gap and 0.8 so it should be only about another 30 minutes or so to get to Mount Islip Islip Check that out. 
Really, really nice, pretty day on this mountain today. No complaints. Another switch back and continue on up. Okay, so we're, um, it's now 9.12. We started at nine o'clock back from our 20 minute break, thereabouts, 15 minute break. And this is the trail. We should be at Mount Islip probably in about another 10 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes after leaving Windy Gap. This is uh, what we see, really nice overlook. Look at that uh, tree right there with bad posture. And we continue on with this hike. Very close to being there. And this is the scenery overlooking <laughs> San Gabriel Mountains. Okay. And okay. we're back Thank up you. on the trail again. Here we go. There's a mountain it's the point one mile, so that's how close we are. Little Jimmy Camp 1.1. One. I'm probably gonna go back actually. But mm. so point one, and we are D O N E done with this trail. Check this out. This is absolutely fantastic. High up top, it's worth the hike. And look at the trees below, the scenery. This is, and then look on this side too. If this side wasn't enough, you even get bonus. And there's a road up there, that's the road we came up on. And there it is. Mount Islip, almost there. And we're getting closer to the top. Okay, so after hiking for 30 minutes from that break that we took, we now come upon Mount Islip, and here it is. This is Mount Islip, and this is our reason why we do this hike. This is pretty cool. This is the top, and let's look at what it has to offer, a little house to go in, and then check it out, a little hollow area and then let's go up here and see what these other guys are doing this is pretty neat see this is it the few the proud the wild the crazy hikers at the top of the mountain and this is where people stop for Mount Islip. Look at that guy with the sign. Wow, Mount Islip, elevation 8,251 feet. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel grow. Take a look at the beautiful scenery from this summit. Don't forget, since this is an altitude hike, bring plenty of water, sunscreen, and a hat. Total round trip hiking distance, seven miles. The altitude is 8,251 feet with an elevation gain of 1,627 feet. Plan for about three and a half hours of hiking time round trip. If you would like to see my other hiking videos, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching. Yes.